Welcome to Kids Bible Vids. We're so glad you've joined us. My name is Heaven. And my name is Jono. Thank you so much for watching. It's so great to have you. This is our first episode and we are so excited. So excited. You watching has made our day. So Kids Bible Vids is all about getting to know God. We believe God is real and that he wants us to know him. Yeah, God, who's perfect and made everything. The stars, the planets. He wants us to know him. And we really can know God. God invites us on an adventure where we can learn what he is like and learn to follow him. Yes, I was so blessed at six years old to have met God and developed a beautiful relationship. Best thing that has ever happened to me. Wow. Well, one of the ways we get to know God is through the Bible. So each episode of Kids Bible Vids, we're going to tell a Bible story. And then think about what the story means. First, some of the kids we know will say what they thought about the story. And then, if you like, you can say what you thought about the story. Yeah. So we tell a Bible story, we show some kids saying what they thought about the story, and then it's your turn. Yep. Okay. Well, our first story is called Jesus Calls Peter and Andrew. Are you ready? Let's go. Peter and his brother Andrew were fishermen. They lived in Capernaum. Capernaum is a big town beside the Sea of Galilee. As fishermen, they had their own boat, and most days they'd be out in the sea trying to catch fish. One morning, they were out in their boat. They were only a short distance from the shore, and together they were throwing their fishing nets into the water. As they threw their nets, they looked up towards the land, and suddenly they saw him. It was Jesus. He was walking along the shoreline. They'd heard about Jesus. They knew he was someone special, and now here he was, standing on the beach. Yeah, they were looking straight at him. Jesus waved and called out to Peter and Andrew. Come, he said, follow me, follow me, and I will make you fishes of men. You will be my guys, and instead of catching fish, you're going to help me catch, catch people. people. Peter and Andrew were filled with excitement. Immediately, they dropped their nets, jumped out of the boat, and followed Jesus. Wherever he went, they went. Whatever he did, they copied. And whatever he said, they obeyed. Yeah. They gave their whole lives to following Jesus. And as Jesus followers, they got to see some pretty amazing things. They saw Jesus do miracles. Like walking on water and healing sick people. They saw Jesus care for people. Like when Jesus showed love and attention to lonely people that nobody else liked. And they heard Jesus teaching. They heard Jesus tell people the good news about God, that God loves us and that we can know him, that God has a new and better way for us to live. They even saw Jesus die on the cross and then three days later, rise back to life. Amazing. And as followers of Jesus, Peter and Andrew did the same things. Yeah. And they started doing what Jesus did. They started caring for people and healing the sick and telling people good news about God. Right. They became like mini versions of Jesus. They went all over the world gathering people and inviting them to follow Jesus. So instead of fishing for fish, they, they fished, fished for, for people. people. <laughs> I like that they um, stopped what they were doing and just straight away followed him. Peter and Andrew actually left everything and followed Jesus. Stopped what they were doing to see Jesus. This story tells me that Jesus also needs help to spread God's word so we can help spread God's word. Jesus cares for everyone and he wants everyone to know about him. He like welcomes everyone else. Jesus asked people to help him and follow him. It can help you in life by encouraging you to focus um, on Jesus. To also make disciples. When God calls you to do something, you have to put your whole lot into it. Knowing that Jesus will welcome you, no matter what. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I love that as they follow Jesus, they got to see him do all sorts of amazing things. I think it's the same with us. When we follow Jesus, it is such an adventure, and we get to see him do amazing things too. Isn't that awesome? OK. So now it's your turn. What did you think about the story? Here are some questions you might like to answer. What did you like about the story? What does the story tell you about Jesus? And how can the story help you in life? 
All right, guys, thanks so much. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.